morning everybody RV living with the geezer and uh, I'm up here in Decatur Texas and I just went and got my insurance taken care of for my car insurance and my trailer insurance we're gonna head back to Boyd on the 730 going a little bit east I hope that's not too bright sun's up it's so uh, about 10 30 in the morning but the sun's still not we're heading into the sun a little bit but uh yeah we've had some rough weather up here uh yesterday morning and uh we had some tornado warnings i got an alert over my phone and then i got a text from my daughter-in-law telling me grandpa get in the house now <laughs> and so i went over there and Blanca and I went over there and watched the weather on TV with them. Calvin had already gone to school. Uh, he leaves really early. But uh, anyway, uh, we had one, evidently we had one touchdown up here. As I came up this way a while ago and I drove by the place. So I want to show it to y'all. Looks like it, uh, we're about we're going to be about two miles south of Decatur, Texas on 7.30. And uh, they showed it on the news last night. It, it said, you know, significant damage. So, uh, yeah, it's right up here. It'll be on the right. Had a bunch of guys out there working earlier. They got, a, they got the roof tarped. Took the roof off the house. People were in the house, but uh, said there were, you know, fortunately, uh, no, there was no injuries. It messed the house up really good, though. But, uh, yeah, I ran up here to get my insurance, and I don't know what it is. I've got a clean record, but I've my insurance seems to be higher than everybody else's that I've talked to. So I don't know what the, what the deal is. And when I get up there. The guy had quoted me a price a month ago on the phone, and then all of a sudden it's thirty dollars a month higher than what he quoted me. And he came up with this thing that, well, uh, hang on just a second, folks. They got the traffic stopped here. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, I'm back, guys. Yeah, they got the road down to one lane here. But here's the damage right here on the right. You can see this house right here. The blue tarp on the roof. So it took the roof off that house. See all this fence? All that white fence there is knocked down. Going down that driveway. I'm driving and filming at the same time, so, anyway, and I got somebody right on my bumper, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I talked to that insurance guy, and he says, I said, well, why'd you tell me, he said, is it so-and-so amount a month, and, uh, it's like 172 a month, and I said, no, last month when I talked to you, it was 141. And he looked up on his computer. Oh, yeah. He said, oh, but I was thinking that you had a house to go with it. And that's a discount we can give. I said, well, I told you to give me a quote on my RV that I'll live in to go with it. And uh, he said, oh, yeah, well, that's my fault. And, but you know what? He was still like $400 a year cheaper than the best and I got about eight different quotes so uh, yeah but my, my son and his daughter get their insurance like uh, like uh, uh, for two cars way less than what I'm paying for one truck I don't I mean I got a clean record I don't, I don't get it I don't know they just I guess insurance companies don't like me or something but uh, anyway that's enough about that so I, I just went ahead and went with him. I mean, it's 
running out at the end of the year, so I got to do something. But uh, there's some a bunch of pretty livestock out there. Let's see, I got to pay attention to my driving on this road. This road is notorious for lots of wrecks. Everybody's in a hurry. So I just wanted to show you all that little tornado damage there and. They were blessed that they got out of the house with no, you know, went got through it with nobody uh, injured. They went into a interior bathroom, and uh, that's the best thing to do, you know, uh, interior away from windows. And, uh, if you can take a mattress with you, maybe, and get in the bathtub and cover up, put a mattress over the top of you, you know, it improves your odds. So, yeah, I had to pull over a while ago on the side of the road with Blanca. I've never really heard her do it before. She started whining. She'd been in the truck about 45 minutes, and I guess she didn't go enough before we loaded up to come up here. I mean, it was like an emergency stop. I had to stop on the side of the road. That dog was ready to go to the, to the potty. So I got her out of the truck in time thank goodness but, uh, yeah this is this is 730 heading towards between Boyd Texas and Decatur I'm heading back to Boyd got my business done so uh, I got a few other things I got to do today went to a pageant a Christmas pageant last night that Sonny and Remy were in, and uh, about two hours worth, and they were the last two groups to perform. So uh, that was uh, exciting. Is that the word I'm looking for? But, uh, be nice, geezer. They're just kids. <laughs> it was. I've been to one before a couple years ago. And, Seemed like that one took 30 minutes. This one took two hours. So, uh, yeah. But anyway. All right, guys. I guess I'll just go ahead, if I can, shut this one down. There's the Boyd Water Tower there. Straight ahead of us. One of the water towers. All right, guys talking at you later. I won't go through my ending. I'm just going to go ahead.